T speak at 222 with Dogecoin and you. It's Wednesday, October 12th, 2022 at 1018 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So what I want to do is look at Doge and I want to look at Shiba. So Doge, and we're gonna make this short and sweet and straight to the point so everybody can understand what's going on in these charts. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know in the comments and I can get to them. Or let me know in the Dogecoin and you uh, telegram. Would love to see a little more chatter in there, but you know. So the underneath support level of Doge is 5755. It bounced off it absolutely beautifully. Right now we're looking to hit rejection here at the 20 day. That's what we're, me personally, I'm looking for. And if we can lose this point, we're looking at about a 5-2 underneath support. So that's what we need to do. If we can somehow hold this and reverse back up, What's happening here, and you can see in the one hour time frame, which is what we're in right now, what seems to be happening here, I apologize, I'm in the rain, so I'm trying to stand under this tree as I do this update. Um, it's a rainy day here in the state of Michigan. A little cold, rainy. So this is what we're looking at, this ascending triangle pattern, and you could come back a little bit farther, but if we hold this support at about the 574 level, that would allow us to bounce back up to the 654 range. But that's only if this doesn't turn into an M topping reversal, which it very well could be this morning. If it gets rejected and we lose the support, that's when the serious trouble starts. I want everybody to pay attention to this formation right now. So your key underneath support is about 576. Your key overhead resistance 655. You break up, you break out, you break down, you break farther. And then with Shiba, these are the two I'm covering this morning because that's what I want to do. If there's more interaction and more uh, discussion, I can obviously look at more and more. But without the discussion, there's really no point for me to go above and beyond, except for what I want to talk about. Get it, got it, good. And I understand I'm not a fudster, so not as many people uh, will want to watch because they want to hear me say it's going to go to infinity all the time. But I'm not going to fucking tell you that bullshit until it's time. This is what I'm looking at, personally. When I look at these, although I think I would like to bring it down here because then I can show you some uh, two-parter. Nah, we're gonna take it from the top. We are gonna take it from the top because then there's no bullshit. So what's going on here is you've got this underneath support we're trying to lose. And if at any time you see us lose 0937 or 000009, um, 8-2 that is when you can start to have these parabolic drops and if you lose this big bear flag that's when you're talking this 7-1-1 underneath level is, comes into play what we're trying to do if you're trying not to lose this level and remain a little bullish get back over the 1022 break 1048 and ultimately get out of this 1113 then you got to break 1142 and get back above this broken structure at 11 or 1200 so ultimately we're trying to break up and out of here to 1200 it's just recreated a lot more formation and a lot bigger structure here now that we're gonna have to break back through and the bears are trying to maintain control so that's what i'm looking at this morning make sure to hit that like button let me know what you think in the comments and what you'd like me to cover